Hey guys, today I'm going to show you a quick tutorial on how to finish the top edge of a foam cup. Um, it's not necessary since foam cups don't fray. Um, you don't technically have to, but sometimes it's nice to have a clean finished edge such as a binding. Um, so this is for the Madeline 8229. This is the inner cup and this is the outer cup. I removed the seam allowances from this edge the cup seam line um, and the underarm um, because you don't need it. And then here I removed it from the underarm because um, it makes it a lot easier when you're attaching the elastic that you don't have to flip the foam back. Um, we'll be using today the supplies that you'll need are a foam cups, obviously cut out, um, and then um, you'll need um, Trico or a sheer cup lining. I cut it into strips. Um, this one is an inch wide. You really have, I would say the, the smallest you want to go is seven eighths of an inch wide um, because you'll be sewing it a quarter of an inch. You'll be flipping it back a quarter of an inch. You'll be flipping it back onto the other side of a quarter of an inch. So you want to leave a little bit there, quarter of an inch, quarter of an inch, quarter of an inch equals three quarters of an inch plus an eighth of an inch just for wiggle room and turn of cloth. So I gave, I cut my strips into one inches and then just a lot longer. It's always easier to cut longer and then um, you'll be able to trim it after. So the first step is to sew the, cup, the, the foam cups together. So what you'll do is you'll on your sewing machine, sorry I have a little bit of a cold, um, you can hear me sniffling, um, <clears throat> you'll sew the inner cup to the outer cup along the cup seam line, so you're just going to sew with a zigzag stitch, do, 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 right here, right here, right here, um, and then connect those together. So I have one to show you right here, which is finished, and you'll see it's, um, with a zigzag stitch right here. Don't worry about um, back stitching at the top or the bottom. Technically you don't have to um, back stitch a zigzag uh, stitch. Um, and plus these are going to be sewn into seams so you don't really have to worry about it unraveling. Then after you've sewn this, if you, you just want to double check that this is like a straight line um, and if it's not, you will take a rotary cutter and just kind of slice it off. So the next step is that you will sew with the wrong side, whatever side, the wrong side of the foam cup, whatever side is facing, will be facing towards your body. You're going to sew the strip, the trico strip, strip, or it can be a sheer cup lining, um, 15 denier trico, um, or if you want to get fancy, you can do something else like a silk or mousse or something like that. You're going to sew this with a quarter of an inch right here using a straight stitch. All right, so I've sewn the foam cups together using a, using a zigzag stitch and then I attach the um, trico, the 15 denier trico to the top edge using a straight stitch. Again, I usually cut um, longer and then I can trim it. I'll trim it right here for right now. I won't trim it to the exact shape until after. So there it is and then you are going to, using a straight stitch, all you're going to do is you're going to turn this over, turn this back again, and then you can use pins to pin it in place. this here, I would say right here, fold it again, 
put it in three places and then you will just use another straight stitch and stitch in the ditch right here. So here is the final result. Um, I've turned the trico binding back and I've stitched in the ditch um, and then I, after I sewed it, I trimmed it here, I trimmed it here, I cut the thread tail, da, da, da. and then um, you can trim it um, here using duck build scissors which allow you to get super close to the seam allowance um, without cutting into it. You don't have to because you're going to put your fabric over this. Um, this is the, the side that will be closest to your body. So again, this isn't necessary, um, but it is nice to kind of finish that foam edge so it's just not raw. Um, and that's it. So thanks again for watching.